Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to the next video tutorial in the series that I've been doing on the Phantom Ecosystem. In this video tutorial, which is going to be kind of a one-off, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how you can stake your Matic and FTM liquidity tokens. That's right, you heard me right. We're going to be creating liquidity provider tokens using Polygon Matic and FTM Phantom and we're going to stake those here on Spooky Swap. So a little bit of background, I was looking into staking options for the Boo tokens that I have been earning, and I came to the Spooky Swap site, and I decided to take a look at the farms. And as I took a look here, I said, well, FTM Boo here is 42.87%. It doesn't make much sense. Again, you're getting paid out in Boo. However, to me, it made more sense to use the Liquid Driver site. And right down here, there's a spooky island Boo FTM pool that's paying out at 79%. Now, again, you're being paid out in LQDR, so the payout token is different. However, the APR was large enough to prompt me uh, to not do it on the spooky swap site because again there's a pretty substantial difference there however as I started to take a look at the other pools that are offered here in which you can stake your tokens I was scrolling down and I stumbled upon FTM Matic and I thought wait a second is this talking about Polygon Matic because I have a small amount of Polygon that I've literally been sitting on on an exchange for the better part of 18 months to two years and it's just sitting there it's not doing anything so I found this pool here and decided to see if I could make it work if I could get my Polygon Matic off the exchange into my MetaMask wallet and then bridge those Polygon Matic tokens to the Phantom Opera main net where I can then pair them up and create the liquidity provider tokens with FTM and Matic and stake them here and earn 52%. And that is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do. As you can see, I kind of took some of the tokens initially. We're gonna go ahead and add to this. Now, before I get started again, here's the spiel. All the information provided in this video tutorial is provided on an as-is and as-available basis, and you agree that your use of any such information is entirely your own risk. You should not construe any such information or other material in my video tutorial on my YouTube channel as legal, tax, investment, financial, or other advice. Nothing in this video or on my YouTube channel constitutes a solicitation, recommendation, endorsement, or offer by myself or any third party. I am not liable for the loss of any fiat assets, tokens, or fees incurred as a result of you following the steps presented here. And this is not investment advice. I am not an investment advisor. The opinions expressed in this video tutorial are for general information and educational and entertainment purposes only and are not intended to provide specific financial and or tax advice or recommendations for any individual or any person. Uh, specific cryptocurrency or investment product. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, if you're holding Polygon Matic and you're not staking it and you are participating in the Phantom ecosystem, this is an amazing opportunity right here to leverage that Phantom, uh, leverage Phantom along with that Polygon Matic that you might have. Now, some of the assumptions in this video. The assumptions are that you have Polygon Matic. If you don't have it and you get it on Coinbase, Coinbase is, that's all ERC-20 based. You're gonna have to get it to an exchange. And in this case, Binance is an example of one of those exchanges where when you go to send it to your MetaMask wallet, you can choose the Matic Polygon mainnet. And take a look at the difference in fees here. 23 cents to use the Polygon Matic mainnet as opposed to $22 using the Ethereum ERC20 mainnet. So there's a substantial difference. So if you can get the tokens to Binance or to another exchange, where you have access to be able to withdraw from that exchange using the Polygon Matic mainnet, then you're in great shape. If not, you would be looking at having to bridge those tokens somewhere else, right? I'm not going to go into that type, that bridging type 
I'm saying use the Polygonmatic mainnet and send it into your MetaMask wallet. And so then that leads us to the sort of first of the steps that we're gonna perform. And that is, how do I add the Polygon mainnet to my MetaMask wallet? Well, as you can see, I've already added it here. If I was to click on it, you'll see that we've got about 34 Matic tokens sitting here waiting for us to bridge them uh, on Spooky Swap over to the Phantom mainnet. And once we do that, they will show up in your uh, MetaMask wallet under the Phantom Opera mainnet. Again, you can see all the way down here at the bottom from earlier activity, me testing out, you know, hey, how do we do this? You can see that the Matic token got added. In fact, it asked me, there was an option, and you'll see it, where you can again click on the little plus sign and automagically add that token to the Phantom Opera mainnet section of MetaMask. So what are the settings we need? So you're gonna to come to the top, you're gonna to click here and you're gonna click Add Network. Now, I'm not gonna click Add Network because I need to show you something else here, which is, or which are the settings we're gonna use. So I'm gonna come down to Settings. You could come down to Networks. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, here's the Polygon Matic Mainnet. And again, you could put any name you want in here. Here are the settings that I use. I wanna make sure that I don't cut it off there. So you put a name in, this is what I'm using for the new RPC URL. The chain ID is 137, the currency symbol is Matic, and there is the block explorer. And again, you would fill all that in, and once you have that all filled in, you would click save. That is gonna add the Polygon Matic mainnet to your MetaMask wallet. And then it's going to show up up here as an option that you can select. So if you were using Binance, you would click on Polygon Matic Mainnet, you would copy the address, and back over here, uh, where you would put your address in as you're doing this uh, activity, you would pick Polygon Matic Mainnet, Mainnet down here on the bottom. So this assumes that we've done that, right? We've added the Polygon Mainnet to our MetaMask wallet, and we have just transferred from whatever exchange allows you to function on the Polygon uh, Matic mainnet, we've transferred over some Matic, and it's sitting here on the mainnet in my MetaMask wallet. So now we come over to Spooky Swap, and the option that we're gonna use is right up here at the top. It's the bridge option. And again, I poked around a little bit and this was by far the most convenient way to do this. Now, are there other bridging options out there? I think it's multi-chain XYZ, things like that. There absolutely are, but we're actually gonna be staking it here on Spooky Swap. So for me, this was the most convenient way to do it. Now, remember, what chain are those Polygonmatic tokens sitting on right now? Well, let's say that you bought them on Coinbase, that they were sitting on ERC20. You shipped them to, oops, sorry, you shipped them to Binance or some other exchange. They're still ERC-20. Then you leverage that exchange's ability to send those tokens on the Polygon Matic mainnet chain into your MetaMask wallet. And so that's where they're sitting now. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, on the option here. So from chain Polygon, and we're going to bring those over to the Phantom mainnet. We're gonna click on Select Token, and if you come right down here, there it is, Matic. So let's click on the Polygon Matic. You can see it sees my balance of Polygon Matic. I'm gonna click Max, because we're gonna do it all. And there is a minimum here. You can see it's 3.43 is the minimum. Uh, the fee right now, it says zero, but I, we are gonna get hit with a fee, and I believe that fee gets paid out in Phantom. We'll have to see here in just a second. So now we're gonna bridge the token. However, before you do that, look down here. It says bridging could take 10 minutes to a few hours. And so the first time I did this, again, with a very small quantity, similar to the quantity that you see here, uh, it did take, it, I think it was close to three minutes. So again, patience is the key, the key ingredient in this spell. So let's go ahead and click bridge token, and let's bring those Matic tokens over 
And it looks like uh, we're going to be paying the fee in Matic. And I'm wondering here, hold on one second, if this is going to. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reject that real quickly. I'm going to click Max, and then I'm going to pull this back. The fee is in Matic. And what I don't want to have happen is that it doesn't that we don't have enough in order to make that happen. So now let's click bridge token and there we go. And we definitely have enough Matic there. We have 0.9 and it looks like the fee is gonna be rather small. We're gonna click confirm. And so here is where you kind of end up in what I would like to refer to as sort of like a no man's land. You get this notification up here that the bridge, bridge transaction is taking place. We're bridging 34 Matic to Phantom. The deposit is pending. You can view the progress on any swap. So this is an option as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause right now, and we're going to actually kind of time this. We started this at 4 or 16.36, and we'll see how long it takes before this is done, and then we'll just go ahead and pick right back up from there. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, so that took uh, about three or four minutes. Now, that little box right up here, it actually, unfortunately, disappeared on me uh, once it was completed, right? So right at about uh, 1641, it changed from pending to confirming. And then about a minute after that, you saw two little green check marks saying that everything was done, right? So we've now bridged our polygon from the Polygon Matic main net over to the phantom main net. Well, if that's the case, I should be able to pull up my MetaMask wallet and not look at the Polygon Matic main net. Again, you can see here that the uh, total of 34, this activity has taken place. But if we switch back over here to the phantom opera main net, we should see under the assets, since we've added the main net, we should see down here at the bottom our Matic tokens. Now, right now it looks like it might be, there might be a little communication problem, but know that they're there. There's no need to panic here. And actually we'll probably see them uh, over here once we go into uh, the staking steps that are gonna be required. Uh, or I should say the, the to stake it in the farms. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, great, it updated, fantastic. So uh, you gotta love it when a plan comes together. So now we have these 34 Matic. Again, if you hadn't added Matic, to your wallet yet uh you still the tokens are still there you would just need to come over here to the farm and you'll see what i mean uh, when we scroll down a little bit and let's take a look at that ftm matic farm right here and so what we're going to do is we're going to and actually we need to create the liquidity pair first right we need those liquidity provider tokens first and you can see view pair or get ftm matic um, spooky lp pair so let's click on that link uh, and it's going to bring us over here and so ftm phantom is trading a little higher than matic and so this is nice because i can simply click on max and we clearly have enough phantom to cover this transaction in terms of using all of the matic so we're going to do this and you can see it takes a second or two and then it says supply now the first time i did this you have to keep your eye peeled on this because you're going to approve it and you can see we're now paying in phantom this is going to be 0.11 and change we're going to go ahead and click ok and approve that and now it's going to say transaction submitted uh, and we're going to click ok here and we are going to go ahead and wait a few seconds and you can see that it decremented right it decreased both totals right away and right up here you're seeing in the upper right hand corner that we added 34 matic and 23.8 phantom now the first time i did this i believe you have to approve it so it's going to ask you to approve what you're doing almost as if you know hey approve the smart contract that you're going to be interacting with here and i believe it was here where that happened so again you may have to approve it first and then go ahead uh, and run the transaction through so now that we've created our liquidity provider tokens the lp tokens that we need now we can come over to the farm and i'm looking i'm hoping to see where i was able to click on and, and we'll find it here in just a second so we're looking for our ftm matic so here we are 
We're back at the FTM Matic Farm, and specifically this pool, we've already gotten the spooky liquid provider tokens uh, pairing the FTM and the Matic with 50% equal value from each in terms of dollar value. And now we wanna go ahead and stake those. So I'm gonna click on stake, and you can see we've got FTM Matic. Here's my balance. What are we gonna stake? Well, we're gonna go for the max. Because again, the fee is gonna be paid in Phantom, which I have sitting in my wallet, and I can't stress this enough, always make sure that you have plenty of Phantom in your wallet if you're getting ready to do anything in the Phantom ecosystem, because there are fees, small fees, again, very small fees, but there are lots of fees that kind of add up after time when you're moving around and doing different things. So we're gonna go ahead and let this complete. We should see a uh, box right up here in the corner at some point telling us that uh, the transaction is going through or that we can view that transaction, I believe. And so we'll give it a second here and there we go. It actually, no box up in the upper right hand corner. Uh, it just simply refreshed. And so now you can see FTM Matic. We've got $352 and whoops, sorry about that. I did not want to highlight that. Let's refresh here. Make sure I didn't cause any issues there when I highlighted it. So let's come back down here to, whoops, went right by it there, sorry about that. FTM Matic. And let's take a look at what we've got. And so you can see there, it changed back. So I highlighted it and it changed real quickly. So we've got $352.98, which is, and it seems to be moving back and forth and maybe it's still in the process of ultimately adding it into the pool. Uh, and Ah, there we go. Okay, so transaction staking, it looks like it's in the process of doing that or it did just do it successfully. And again, we could view that. I thought I had seen a box up here in the upper right hand corner when I did it the first time. Uh, so hopefully we're going to see a confirmation here shortly. But you can see as it's moving back and forth between the balances. Now, what are we earning here? Well, we're earning boo. And that is definitely not a bad thing if you've been watching the price of Boo. It's at 39.34 right now, and it's had quite a substantial uh, uh, run here. So that is how you do it. And I again, I apologize. Maybe it was under the swap where you could add uh, the. Yeah, I think maybe it was here. Let's look for Matic here. And here again, I think maybe it was under the swap. If Matic is here because you can click on the little plus sign, and there it is. So you could click on the plus sign. It says display in wallet, but what it means is it's actually adding the Polygon Matic token to your wallet. So you would come to swap, you would go ahead and click on the plus sign, and it adds it in the Phantom Opera mainnet. All right, well, that is going to wrap this video up. Again, sort of a little one-off, something I stumbled upon, and I was like, hey, well, I've got, you know, 30 Matic tokens laying around, and why not put those to use? By dropping them here on Spooky Swap into the farm where you create the LP tokens for Phantom and Matic, and off you go. All right, again, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video is helping you out and maybe saving you some steps, giving you some ideas as to how you can increase your passive income stream. And that's it. That's all I've got. Again, thanks for watching, and as always, I hope to see you in the next video.